In this video, you will learn how to create, edit, and share ePortfolios in Canvas. To learn more about this topic, visit the Canvas Guides at guides.canvaslms.com. Additionally, permissions vary between users and institutions, so what you see in this video may be different from what you see in Canvas. To open ePortfolios, click Account in Global Navigation. Then, click ePortfolios. An ePortfolio is a place for you to showcase your work from a course or academic program and can be used for course projects or to create a simple web presence. An ePortfolio is made of sections and pages that are customizable, and you are able to add and remove different types of information. To start a new ePortfolio, click the Create an ePortfolio button and enter a name. Select whether or not to make it public. Then click the Make ePortfolio button. By making your portfolio public, anyone who has the URL for your portfolio can view the contents of your portfolio. Once your new ePortfolio is created, you can start adding content. The Getting Started Wizard is a helpful tool that will guide you during the process of creating your ePortfolio. Sections are the navigation links for your ePortfolio and are listed along the left side of the window. Each section can have multiple pages inside it. You can organize sections by clicking the Organize Sections link. Click the Add Section link to create a new section. Within the Settings menu, you can rename, delete, or move sections. Pages are part of sections. You can see pages for a selected section in the sidebar. To organize pages, click the Organize Manage Pages link. Click the Add Another Page link to add new pages. Rename and add content to a page by clicking the Page Settings icon and then clicking the Rename link. You can add four types of content to your ePortfolio. The first is rich text content. Type or copy and paste and format your content in the Rich Content Editor. Second, you can add HTML embedded content. Add HTML content in the box. Third, you can add assignments you have submitted in Canvas courses. Click the Course Submission link. All assignments you have ever submitted online in Canvas will be listed in chronological order, with the newer assignments appearing at the top. Select the assignment you would like to add and click the Select Submission button to upload the submission to your page. Repeat this process to add multiple assignments. Last, you can use the Image File Upload option to add content to a page. Select a previously uploaded image or file from your Canvas files, or choose a file or image from your computer. Rearrange pages by dragging and dropping or delete them by clicking the Delete link in the Settings menu. To return to the dashboard, click the Back to Portfolio Dashboard link. You can quickly add assignment submissions to new pages from the Portfolio Dashboard. Scroll to the bottom of the dashboard to view a list of recent submissions. Then, click the submission you want to add. Click the Add Page button. To change the settings for your ePortfolio, click the ePortfolio Settings link. Here, you can rename the portfolio and change whether it is public or private. Private portfolios are only visible to those to whom you grant access. When you are done with the wizard and are ready to view your portfolio, click the Go to the Actual ePortfolio link. You can always get back to this wizard from any page by clicking the How Do I link. 
or by returning to the ePortfolio dashboard and clicking the Getting Started Wizard link. You can also close the Getting Started Wizard by clicking the Close icon. To share a private ePortfolio, click the Copy and Share This link to give others access to your private ePortfolio link. The link will appear in your address bar. Copy the link to share it. To download the contents of your ePortfolio, click the Download the Contents of this ePortfolio as a zip file link. Monitor the download through the progress bar. It will download as a zip file to your browser's set download location. To delete an ePortfolio, go to the appropriate ePortfolios dashboard. At the bottom of the page, click the Delete this ePortfolio link. Confirm deletion by clicking the Delete ePortfolio button. You've now completed this tutorial video on ePortfolios. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, just visit guides.canvaslms.com. You can also ask questions and engage with other Canvas users by visiting community.canvaslms.com.